What's up, guys? Belligerent here with a Dragon Air video. If you don't remember, I put out a video about this a while back. We had some access to it on the Play Store. Then they took it out of the Play Store. Now it's in just fully, it's still in beta or whatever you want to call it. Uh, they actually, like, I actually got some exclusive access. They're giving access out to uh, a select few of co of the content creators. Um, and so I'm super excited about this. Uh, the game has phenomenal graphics, uh, some really interesting gameplay that's kind of right up the alley of a lot of the games um, that I've been playing. That, And if you're watching this, probably you've been playing, you know, along the, the Bloodlines, Eternal Evolution, you know, those champion collector auto battler type games. But this one has so many different layers to it. Uh, it's got a little bit of tower defense in it. It's got some, you know, it's you can see the die on the screen. Uh, it's a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons there. Uh, it's a little bit of RPG where you get to run roam around the map. But like I said, I have some exclusive content creator access to this. So we're going to jump in. We're going to see some gameplay. But first, I want to show you this trailer for Dragonair Silent Gods. Planes. Multiverses. Each world has its own master. Adventurers raise their torches aloft and race to their finale. Yet there is always an invisible force around. The eternal pivot. The true master. So volatile, so unfathomable, and yet... Who? Oh? <laughs> Honest to goodness, gold! <laughs> uh. <clears throat> oh! By the ancestors' hammers, would you look at that? <laughs> I'm rich! <laughs> My new self. Come on, folks. We're about oh, to be what an idiot. <laughs> huh? Oh. All right, let's take a look at these pre-registration awards that we can get if we all pre-register. I'm leaving a link in the description below. That's my own personal link. Do me a favor, click that link, pre-register. I'm also putting it up on the screen right now. Uh, but look at these rewards that we get uh, with pre-registration numbers. So once they, when they hit, uh, or if they hit 100,000 pre-registrations, we get Dragon Crystal Dice, Starlight Stone Dice times 3, Gold times 20k. By the way, I don't know what any of this means yet. Um, it looks like summons. I think that's the the Dragon Crystal Dice is the gold one. I believe those are summons. The purple ones are summons as well. And then a bunch of gold. So 1 million pre-registration. Dragon Crystal Dice. Uh, Warm Morrow times 120 which is a valuable resource in the game. Gold times 50K. If we hit 3 million, Dragon Crystal Dice, uh, warm, mar warm Marrow times 240 and 100,000 gold. And then if we can hit 5 million 
pre-registration rewards as an entire community. Uh, we're gonna, it looks like we're going to get Eric, which is a legendary champion uh, for those pre-registration rewards. So again, click my link in the description below. Uh, that's my own personal referral link uh, for this pre-registration. And now let's jump back into the game and take a look at this masterpiece. Love the trailer. Super excited about this game. Uh, let's jump into this and take a look at this game. Okay. So. Now, again, this is just kind of this is like beta access uh, in a sense. So there may be some changes. Uh, but what's cool about it is like we have where is so we have um, all different types of stuff here like um, we're just loaded they they gave us loads of equipment and stuff to play with and the other cool thing about this what is I don't even know I don't even know what this stuff is yet uh, but the other really cool thing about this is that it's going to be available on multiple platforms it's going to be available on mobile it's going to be available on pc i believe it's going to be available on mac uh steam so you can probably play it on the steam deck i would imagine uh, ios and android it's supposed to be available for so uh i as far as i know i might be giving you some wrong you know but i'm pretty sure that's what they in the stuff that i read they said it was going to be multiple stuff um so there is you know, like we can see the heroes here. I think we have ever access to every hero in the game as well. This I only have one red. I don't know what a red is. What's a red? Does it sell me what a red is? Like, I mean, we have these legendaries here, right? At least I think that's what they're called. Um, so that's really cool. Like, I'm really going to spend... A lot of time like I have access to this through April so we're gonna we're gonna do a bunch of videos we're gonna do deep dives into all of this stuff and I realize that some of it may be uh, kind of wasted efforts because and look at the graphics on this it may be wasted efforts because in the end like this is just beta so some of this stuff may change um, but I am going to try to collect as much information to give you as good of a, a grasp on this as possible when it releases. Uh, lots of plans for this game. I am super excited. Um, I thought I just saw somebody that looked like someone from another game. But, you know, I mean, lots of just, you know, <laughs> a goblin that's scratching his butt with Molotov cocktails. There we go. Um, so just some really cool characters in here. Uh this guy has an axe. Oh, okay. I thought it was like an axe coming out of the back of his head, but it's just it's this thing that's wrapped around his head. Um, phenomenal graphics. Uh, great 3D models here. Um, so let's jump into this. Let's do some gameplay. Like I said, it's you know this is not the full story or the full game. At least this is different than what they released. Um, so there's like, I mean, you have, you have like RPG, almost MMO elements to this, like some cooking here. Um, I was messing around with some of it, but like, you just kind of pop some stuff in here uh, and then we cook it up and see what we get here. Like, so th this is one thing that is pro Oh, here's some of the dye. So best I can tell. All right. So what is this? This is fruit juice consumable. Uh, all ally heroes gain accuracy plus five for 600 seconds. Um, so that's cool. So like you can do that and make yourself some potions here. Um, there's uh, gathering and see, and then it unlocks the recipes. There's all kinds, of, there's gathering to do that I'll show you here in a minute. So you can, you can collect all this stuff. Like, and I, I really enjoy this stuff. Um, I've played some, like some MMOs and, and I really get into kind of, I guess what you would call like the life skills. Um, so we're going to try and put together, you know, our recipe book here. Uh, this one actually has, let's see if it's showing me. Yeah. So as far as I can tell so far, anything you, you mix with flaming chili, uh, with the flame, yeah, with the flaming chili turns into, what is this called? Uh, oh, flaming chili sauce. So, uh, definitely going to go through, try and, try and un, 
uh, uncover all of the recipes that I can. Uh, but that's I like I'm I'm super kind of excited about this game. This is really cool, really fun. Um, so there's so much in here. Like this is just your little camp here, and you can enter this from anywhere, I believe. Um, I don't know what this is. What is this? Oh, you can forge weapons here. Um, so this there's just there's a ton of stuff that I just don't understand yet. So I can't show you stuff. Uh, like in depth yet i'm just kind of giving you an overview um of what we can do let's see if we have any summons do we have some oh we have like ridiculous amounts of summons look at this they gave us almost three thousand <laughs> summons um so let's let's i'm just gonna summon one like we got six i'm gonna summon uh let's see so rare epic and legendary heroes if we're using this the orange one and here we have uh, common, rare, and epic heroes. Let's look at the probabilities. Oh, yeah. I remember doing a video on this. I said I, I felt like this needed to change. We'll see if they change it at all. But 2% for a rare or for an epic, 88% for a common feels a little uneven there to me. But we'll see how, how that plays out. And I think this is the yeah, same 2, 10, and 88 uh, if you use that with the advanced summoning there, but let's, let's summon one just to see what happens. Like, I don't even know if there's champions that we can get that we don't have. Cause it looks like they loaded us up, but man, these, this summoning graphic, this is so cool. Like I know after a while it'll just get old and I want to skip and I don't even know if you can skip. I'm not going to click it cause I want to watch. And these cracks, I believe show you the color. So that's blue. So we're getting a rare. Yeah, there's a rare. Uh, so Imperial warrior. Oh, and here it is. Yeah, transformation and duplicate heroes. So if you get a duplicate hero, it turns it into this material for you, which is a imprint stone. And I don't know what those are for yet. Um, but it, so apparently there's no use for duplicates. There's nothing like a ascending heroes, I'm guessing, unless this stuff is used for ascending heroes. But um, I know there's a few games, Bloodline, Eternal Evolution, stuff like that, where you need duplicate copies of champions uh, so you can uh, ascend them to higher levels let's do one more summon and then we'll jump into the actual gameplay like i'm just i'm 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 really excited about this let's see what these cracks are oh, it's another rare all right uh, but i got three thousand summons so maybe we'll do like a hundred or a two hundred summon video and i again i don't but i think i think summon videos are just fun summonings are fun um, but again, I don't know that there's any champions in the game that they didn't give us in the account. So we can definitely dive into some of this. All right. So we're going to go out on the adventure here and I'm kind of just out in the middle of the world cause I was just putzing around. Um, so you run around, like I said, it's just kind of like an RPG. There's things out here that you can interact with. So you have not connected with the will of this pond. Okay. Don't know. Oh, what's this? Let's see if we can figure out something here. Okay. Oh, all right. So you have to figure out an order. Okay. Pond of Pack. Offer your sacrifice to seal an eternal pact with this pond. All right. So I got to give them 10,000. It looks like I have 50 mil. So that shouldn't hurt. Oh, okay. And see, here's kind of the, the Dungeons and Dragons feel with the die. So you got, it looks like a four-sided die. Is that what that is? One, two, three, four. Yeah. And so if you roll a one, you're going to get all in vain. A two, slight echo. Three, reap what you sow. Four, God's gift. I don't know what any of these are. So let's just roll the dice and see what we get. One, all in vain. Click to continue. Okay. What is this? Uh, dragon marrow stone. General item. I own a boatload of a mysterious gem with the dragon power dwelling within can be used to exchange for rare items. And then this is beef stew. All ally heroes gain attack plus 8% for 600 seconds and accuracy plus 10 for 600 seconds. Attack is 8%. Attack plus... Okay, yeah. Okay. So this, I like this. It gives you, like, here's a recipe that you can aim for, but 
uh, it doesn't give you the recipe yet. So you know that there's something you can discover. I haven't discovered that one yet. Um, all right. So, and the neat thing about this is at least on mobile, there's different ways you can do it. So like you can tap, I mean, I'm using a mouse right now, um, but you can tap or you can hold it down and use it like a virtual joystick like this. So however you want to play it on mobile. And also like, I'm kind of playing this with mouse on a desktop. Uh, right now so at least in a, a pseudo desktop setting um, so this is I don't know if this is available this way on a desktop or if the controls look slightly different um, let's see if we can find something to interact with here uh, I what's that uh, oh what did I do oh, okay all right. Um, all right. So there's somebody hiding in here. What are you doing? And then you, you know, again, some some RPG elements as far as uh, talking and choices. And I'm surprised you found me. You must be an expert in hide and seek. How can you ignore a talking cast? That's right. I am Dita. Well, please play hide and seek with me. My grandmother never plays with me. She always says her legs hurt. Let's see what happens if we play. Don't see this as an easy game. None of the monsters in the forest I've played with can beat me. Turn around and no peeking, then count to ten loudly. That is like that's a lot of of detail just for like a conversation there. All right. What happened? One, two, three, four, five, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Um, I don't even, like, uh, whatever. All right, let's see what's going on here. Bung it, steal. Drag and drop the item downward, okay. Um... Oh, okay, so see, we got to roll a five or better, and you see over here, my character has plus one, so let's see what we roll, we roll a six, and then seven, because I get this plus one over here, so that means I stole it, and there's also a timer up here, and then we stole that one too, so that's really cool, um, lose a page of poetry, as an attempt at a new book style, All right, theft completed, so that's kind of cool, um, oh wait, can we steal again? I don't know items to steal. Okay. It looked like it was incomplete as far as that went. Um, and then here's some, like, you do some gathering. See, we got some berries so we can um, go to, or for the cooking and stuff. All right. Another pond. Offer sacrifice. Let's go ahead. Let's roll. I'm kind of looking for, like, I want to find some monsters. All right, we got God's gift. I don't know what that means. We got essentially the same thing. So, all right, we won't, we won't. <laughs> We're already at 15 minutes here. I want to try and find some fighting for you guys. Um, there's so much to do and so much to explore here. All right, I got to stop gathering. It's not good for the video. Let's see if we can find... Is there anything to, like, fight around here? There's got to be some... Oh, look at that. I want that. Can we get that? There's a chest down there. Oh, there's a chest right here, too. Collection album and album music. Okay. Keep record of intel and collectibles in route. You can manage your collection gallery at camp. Gotcha. All right. Some gold here. Oh, look, we got a... Oh, I didn't read any of that. All right. Uh, I'm ready. Ask me your question. Hark, hark. Still your breath. What do you hear? Sound of the wind in my own panic heartbeat. The wails of the wood elves. Whispers of the forest. She is plotting revenge. Uh, what am I supposed to answer here? I have no idea. 
Um, let's say this one. Did I hear that right? You did, you did. The Traveler is a pathetic, delusional maniac. Oh, it's a two-headed thing. They're talking to each other. Fancying themselves capable of understanding the world's language. Who do you think you are? Unbelievable. Unbelievable, unless you have conceivable proof. All right, so wisdom check. Again, you see I got the plus one down here. Um, oh, that's who... So that red... The red champion we saw in my hero pool... I think is my main character. 14, we needed 12, we actually got 15, so we won. So that's that's a little fun part for me. Um, I think it also opens it up to some rage uh, as far as like just getting some bad RNG, but, but you know, taking the good and the bad. So do you see, do you not see it? Do you not hear it? Do you not feel the whispers of every breath of the wind, every blade and plant and every falling leaf? The traveler is saying the traveler does not believe them an illusion, yet you are right. Da, 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 da. So why not seek revenge? Why not seek revenge? Let's see. Hearken to the breath of the corpses and the keening of the undead, the mortality wounded gods. So why not seek revenge? Why not seek revenge? The traveler's right. Oh, right indeed. The reward of the faithless they shall receive. I wish this would not be quite as long. All right, so we got this, whatever this is again. Okay. Um, where's this chest? Whoa. Link all the points together to unlock the treasure chest. See, this, like, to me, I mean, I know, that, like, I'm trying to find you. Yeah, it's a battle for the video, but there's just so much to do in this game. Okay. I'm sure somebody knows how to do this way better than me. Um, wait, I linked them all. What the... Okay, so I'm guessing I have to trace the whole thing. Um, can I go to the same place twice? Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Oh, I don't even know if like it was, you couldn't, I don't know. But anyway, you saw how to do that. So I don't know, I didn't, obviously didn't, I approached it as if I couldn't go over the same path twice. Okay, here we go, we got a battle, finally, let's go. Okay, so this is to me what's really cool about this game. So you can see like, we got level fours here. Like we're probably not leveled for this. They're all level 29s, right? So you can go through all these and I believe they earn, um, yeah, see, here's my red one. That's my main champion. Uh, they earn levels by, which way are we going? Um, let's go with rarity. Okay. Um, they earn levels by you actually fighting with them. But here's, let me, so, so let me show you. When you place them on the board, you can see the interactions. So you see like the purple, he's going to attack that level 29 there. All right. But you can see the red and that's who they're going to focus. So if I put him here, right, he's only going to attack that 29 and everybody else. But if I move him up here, look at how it changes, right? It spreads it out between the two tanks. So it's really like, Positioning heavy, so but let's uh, I want to take these guys out here and use some of these uh, golden ones. What is this? Oh, fire. Okay, so these must be like the tribes or whatever. Uh, that's not alignment overview. So I'm trying to find they don't have it in here it doesn't look like heal buff oh we can use these remember these so let's use this uh defense and accuracy and i have a bazillion of those so we're gonna do fire damage 
An attribute buff already exists. Confirm. Oh, so you can only use one, maybe. Okay, heal. So, okay, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's just use them all. What are, I don't even know. Let's find out what these are, okay? Luminary Cleric. It looks like she's a healer with all this stuff. So we have um, Spare the Dying when healing an ally. 50% of the... Okay. Uh, heals the ally with the lowest HP by 15%. Target max health and grants ally defense up 1 for 10 seconds. Initial recharge is 5 seconds. Recharge time is... 12 seconds okay so this tells you exactly how long it takes for this to happen which is really cool so when the battle starts if i'm reading this correctly it'll take five seconds before she does it and then after she does it uh it'll take 12 seconds in between each additional casting here it does not tell this is a passive skill okay that's what the p stands for okay and then this is her ultimate oh and up here it also shows you like where it hits. So in this case, it looks like it's only a single target is what I think this is. I mean, I know that that's what the target says. It heals a specific ally. Um, so I think that's what this map up here is showing. And then this one looks like it does everybody, right? So the cleric heals all allies by 10%. Yeah, so you can look at this map. I like that. It gives you this little grid here. Kind of shows you how many champions it's going to affect. Um, and again... It takes 14 seconds for the ultimate to go off. And then 20 seconds in between each one. Uh, I do not yet know if there's anything else that affects that. I'm assuming there will be at some point in time, but right now I don't know. All right, so what is this? Oh, oh, sh it counts down from the minute you use it. Holy cow. All right, so we're going to put her out there. Uh, let's see, what are you? I wish I knew some. That's great, I just wish I knew. Okay, anyway, let's see what this is. Changes the weather to ice. So she's like a mage and looking like frost breath. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's throw the mage out here as well. Oh, that's so, like, she looks so great. Like, the graphics on that are just so amazing. All right. And you shoots a mighty arrow, deals lightning damage. Okay, so he's another range. I'm looking for something like a tank here. Uh, when an enemy gains a buff, reduces the hero's recharge time by 10% when the hero inflicts a debuff on an enemy. Okay, okay. Deals fire damage to enemies within range. Okay, and you can see here how big of an area it hits. Chance of inflicting accu accuracy penalty two status for five seconds. And then grant accuracy up status to all allies. So again, okay. And she looks like a tank-ish person. Um, when the skills, when the skill deals damage to enemy inflicted with poison, hmm. Charges towards the enemy with the lowest HP. Okay. Jumps and strikes the designated area, dealing poison damage to enemy. Okay. He sounds cool too. But he doesn't necessarily sound like a tank. I don't know that she's a tank either. I'm looking for a tanky person. What is Flaming Head over here? Like, I wish I knew, like, I wish they had some kind of class. Um, I Maybe I should have looked at this before. Uh, some of the skeleton one. Okay. The Blitz doesn't. Oh, let's try it. What does it matter? Um, all right, 5 of 5. We are probably going to lose severely here, but let's try it. Let's check this out. Okay, yeah, there. I mean, this is just way too high a level for what I have right now. Um, but we got the little skeleton dude over here. That's kind of cool. A couple of skeleton guys. Um, this is right now, this is just like super overwhelming because there's so much to learn about this. I don't even know what to expect right now. I did expect to get blown up because we're 21 versus 1. So, um, yeah, this is... 
not going not gonna go in our favor. So all right. So that's a just that's a little overview of at least one of the types of battles. I know there are others, like I said, there's I know there's a tower defense thing, stuff like that. Um back to teleport point. I don't know where that what that means. Let's go. Let's see what it does. Um I don't even know where the hell. Where am I? All right. So, and then as you can see here, there's a big map. We can move it around. We can zoom out. Like they did a super good job with this game. And the fact that it's available on mobile just kind of blows my mind. If I'm being honest, what are these? Eight tickets. Okay, challenge ticket for the planar gate. Infinite labyrinth key. All right. So lots of good stuff. Like I'm super excited about this Dragon Air Silent Gods, and I'm gonna be putting out tons of content for this. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Pre-register for the game. It comes out later this year, and I'm gonna be blowing out tons of content for this. Uh, like comment, subscribe, tell a friend. I'm belligerent. Peace.